I know you like watches, Steve. Yeah. Most people would look at this watch. The band feels like plastic. Mm -hmm. It's actually rubber, but it feels like plastic. In fact, the whole watch feels like plastic. It's light. Looks like a swatch. <laughs> Looks like an $80, $80 watch. How much do you think this watch costs? There are no diamonds in it. There's no gold. There's no, there's no silver. The brand is a brand that I had never heard of until a few years ago. His name is Richard Mill. <laughs> that lady up there, man. That, that, I'm sorry, just ignore her. She is, this lady, man, wants this watch to be 20 million. I done told this lady, ain't nobody got no damn 20 million for this damn watch. A man just told you ain't no diamonds on it. Hell, he draws over here, got diamonds on it. Fifteen thousand, four thousand, one twenty-five. Should we tell him? Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, tell him. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Now, let me explain why. Let me explain why before you say it's ridiculous. This watch does two things that are completely mechanical. In other words, there are no electronics in this watch. It's got a tourbillon, which offsets the effects of gravity on timekeeping. And here's the cool part. Steve, you see this little dial on the top? Mm -hmm. That measures the G-force that this watch is going through. Because Bubba Watson, when he swings that golf club, has the fastest stroke in golf. Rafa Nadal, the tennis player, has the fastest stroke, most RPMs in tennis. He wears a Richard Mille. So this little thing at the top measures the G-force of this watch when you're in a fast car or you're swinging a golf club or a tennis racket. Is it worth it or ridiculous? <laughs> Who says worth it? <laughs> All dudes. <laughs> Two women, the rest of them dudes. Yeah, I'll take it.